Bulletin, bulletin, special report. It's sugar, not fat, that makes you fat. Isn't this amazing? Fats don't make us fat, carbs do. In this special report, I'm going to talk about the sugar industry. Researcher Kristen Kearns has published a report in the Journal of American Medical Association that the sugar industry paid researchers to link fat and cholesterol, not sugar, to increase rate of heart disease. When fats were removed from the American diet, it was replaced with sugars. Rates of obesity increased. Since the 1980s, the obesity epidemic has increased while we were told to avoid fats in our diet. It is now being shown that it is sugar, not fats, that have been the cause of our obesity. Avoiding fats has caused us to have increased rates of diabetes, obesity, and diet-related diseases. Sugar intake linked to obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. Look at the amount of sugar that's coming out of that can of soda. It's sugar, not fat. In prior videos, we spoke of the research done by Dr. Robert Luzdick and, and his YouTube video, Sugar, the Bitter Truth. I hope you guys have watched that. For years, Ludwig said in an interview, we've been trying to focus physicians' attention on triglycerides, which increase the, in the bloodstream when sugar intake goes up, as something that's important in heart disease. But everyone has been caught up with LDL cholesterol, which high levels of dietary fat can increase. The industry-funded review from 1967 was the one that made them do that. Eating sugar triggers hormones that signal fat cells to store fat, whereas fat does not trigger the same hormones. Dr. Frank Lipton. High sugar diet. Marion Nestle, a professor of nutrition, food studies, and public health at New York University wrote, it's also true that industry funding tends to screw research results, she continued, and that diets high in sugar raise the risk for heart disease, and that the Sugar Association's main purpose is to promote the interest of sugar producers, not the health of the American public. Isn't that terrible to hear, to read? Fat-free normally means it's loaded with sugar. What happens once sugar is ingested in the body, it's stored in the body as fat. It's not fat that makes you fat, it's sugar that makes you fat. It's not the fat that makes you obese, it's the sugar. The health benefits of low carb besides weight loss. Low carb has been studied and is well documented that their effectiveness is multifaceted. Of course, the thousands of people who have lost a lot of weight were able to keep it off makes a low carb eating plan something of an attractive proposition, especially since it's not typical fad diet, but actually a lifestyle change. There are a number of low-carb diets that you can follow. You can be as strict or as lenient as you wish, whether you are looking to lose weight, maintain muscle, or reduce your risk of heart disease. In addition to the benefits listed above, a low-carb diet can also serve as an appetite suppressant. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition explored the reasons why, concluding that the high-protein diet could be an explanation as to why. Additionally, another similar story, study saw the participants on a diet that was high in protein and fat but low in carbohydrates didn't have the same crude food cravings as the participants did that were on a low-carb, uh, low-fat diet. This is because generally reducing carbs and eliminating sugars actually helps to regulate blood sugars so the appetite is naturally suppressed, eliminating those horrid, out-of-control food cravings. You know, this uh, idea of giving up sugar, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And the choice is yours. Because every time you eat or drink, you're either feeding disease or fighting it. The choice is yours. You could give up sugar. Get rid of uh, all those things that are causing you to be obese. You know, the secret is very simple. It's out there. Donuts. Cake, flour items, uh, things, bread, pasta, uh, white rice. All these things turn to sugar in your body. 
You have to identify what are sugars and what are not. And a carb, a low carb diet, like the one we espouse here at the Saturday morning diet, is the way to finally beat this. You know, again, every time you eat or drink, you're either feeding a disease or fighting it. And the disease is obesity, diabetes, heart disease, on and on. Make up your mind. Fight back against the sugar industry and what they have done to us. See you on the next video. Bye-bye. Get the complete guide to the ketogenic diet. Discover the low-carb difference. Get your copy for only $19.95 during the Labor Day month of September. For more information and order your copy, here's the link. SaturdayMorningDiet.com forward slash ketogenic diet ebook. And get your copy and start it today. Price going up next month. Bye-bye. <laughs>